Travis is Chaparral Motorsports, and today we're in Rigby, Idaho at the Climb headquarters. I'm here with Archie, and Archie is the hard parts developer for Climb. Archie, thanks for, for joining us. No problem. Um, now you guys are making these really impressive helmets with some technology that I really want these viewers to, to learn about because the safety behind it is much more impressive than your typical EPS liner helmet. So what do we have here? This basically looks like a honeycomb for the most part. Yeah, so this is this material is called Coroid. Um, they're actually out of Monaco and they developed this uh, this material based out of aerospace, you know, um, yeah. aircraft, things like that. Um, so it's it's soup, it's lightweight, it's ventilated, um, and it's strong. So it uh, provides the safety that we want. So it's called Coroid, and uh, that's with a K. And Coroid is easiest way for me to explain it as far as when I first saw it. It's kind of like going to a restaurant or um, coffee shop, and and instead of just taking one straw for your drink, you take all of them in your hand. And you and you can you can look down it, and it looks like you're just kind of holding a bunch of straws in your hand. That's kind of the basic of what it is. And yeah, I mean, a lot of people do call them straws, but there's a lot more technology behind it. There's they're actually a dual core extruded copolymer is what the material is. Um, they have the outer core, which is um, basically for thermal welding because all the straws are thermal welded together. And you're you're speaking of one straw right now, right? Yeah, I'm I'm speaking if we if we took out a straw and did a sectional view of it, sure. you know, you'd be able to see two different layers of it. Gotcha. You know, so yeah, the outer layer the, or the outer core is the core that basically thermal forms everything together. Inside core, that's where you get your more of your structure, gotcha. your consistent crushability. They both work together. So the combination of those two materials it's it's actually absorbing more energy upon impact. Right? It, it has the capability to absorb more energy, yes. yes. The way this works is, I mean, look, you guys can see it here. It's, it's The straws aren't this tall when they get them into the helmet. You can see this, the shell's actually only about a, a, you know, an inch thick. But. This is a good example of it. And let's just say that these straws were 100% of, of the length of what we have here. And it looks like you guys crushed it already a good a good amount. And and what this is demonstrating is the consistent crush capability of what the choroid does. So everything with it is predictable. So it, it's a lot easier to, to work with when you're when you're doing impact testing. This is your this would be like a standard EPS helmet, right? So yeah, so this is your standard EPS. Um, They're stating it's, it'll actually absorb 43% more energy than your typical EPS. Yep, so we, we want to, I mean, we want to cover all the contact points and the, the larger points of where most of the impacts occur, obviously on the tops and the sides of the head, you know, so everything above uh, the DOT test line um, and the EC test line that's in the helmet there. Before we sat down and, and started shooting this video, you were kind of explaining to me, this is, like you said, a traditional uh, EPS helmet, which a lot of companies use. Yeah, these are the guts taken out out of the shell of the helmet, you know, and so pretty much 99% of helmets use EPS. Um, it's been around for over 30, 40 years. Mm. Um, it's a super affordable material to use. It's super lightweight and it, I mean, it does its job. It manages energy well. Um, and one of the things that we are realizing is that, I mean, yes, this is, this is great material, EPS is, um, but it acts as a, it acts as an insulator for your head. True, you know. Well, and um, if you guys have never, if you have no idea what EPS um, liner really looks like or feels like, if you go into a gas station and you see one of those white styrofoam looking ice coolers that you can just use for the day. That's kind of what yeah, it is. Yeah, different densities, you know. So what are um, you guys doing differently? That's where choroid comes into place. I mean, if you take this, you have your limited holes through there, you channel it the best you can to get the ventilation you want. You take away that top EPS um, and channel all the air that you want. I mean, you're gonna get something like that. Check that super out. vented, super great, um, but you don't have any protection. It's something that's gonna be safe and offer the protection, but also be vented at the same time. So check this out. This, um, is, this was the technology we were just trying to describe. So this fits right, it, it takes place of that top EPS liner mm -hmm. and it's, it's adding additional safety as far as your, in, your, your energy absorption. Not only are you getting a better safety material, but check the venting, I mean, look at the venting in that. And I'm really excited to get to use this. We're gonna go hit the trails out here in, in Idaho and, and I'm gonna get to try this helmet out firsthand.
No way. Hey, this thing's bitching. Heck yeah. This thing's bitching, dude. I think the, the biggest mistake with uh, helmet companies nowadays is they're doing a good job with, with the intake, with the intake airflow. Mm -hmm. um, but that intake airflow isn't gonna help much if you can't exhaust the heat off of your head. And I think this is really cool. It's, a, it's an amazing idea because Archie even mentioned when you get done with the trail and you get to the top of the hill, you're gassed, you're, you're out of breath. And at that point, you're not getting any more air intake, but your head still needs to exhaust the heat that's leaving your body. Tell me how that wouldn't work when you come to the top of a hill or, the, or when you stop on a trail, this, you're not gonna have to take your helmet off. You can keep it on, you, could, you can just pull your goggles off, gra grab your hydration pack, get some water and wait for the rest of the guys to come up the trail. So what helmet are we gonna see this choroid technology um, in? So the, the helmet that we are just releasing is an F5 choroid. It's a version of our F5 helmet that we also developed into a choroid version of it. Which is your off-road helmet. Which right? is our off-road um, helmet. It's DOT ECE certified, so it exceeds DOT and ECE standards. But at the same time, you're getting that safety factor, but also the ventilation factor that um, what he was just talking about. I mean, you get to the top of the hill, you're gassed, but you take your goggles off, but the helmet's still letting all that heat out, yeah. you know? It's not like you have your head stuck inside of a cooler anymore. You know, it's, it's letting all that heat exhaust um, and cool down um, without even having to take your helmet off. I mean, so. you've got your gloves on, uh, you've got all your gear on. The last thing you wanna do is go messing with your, your D-rings and take your goggles off to get your helmet off just so your head can cool down. This is some cool technology that we've really never seen before. Um, right now we're developing a, you know, another version of of a cryos helmet. That's, we'll just stop yeah, there. We'll stop there. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, so you guys and, will anyway, be seeing this. Yeah. Huh? So I mean, it's it. That's all under testing right now, and we're getting that dialed in, and you know, for the street side of the game. So I, I really love the way you know Climb works as a company because just because they have the best product doesn't doesn't stop them from creating even better product, and that's what they're doing with this choroid material. Like and subscribe to this video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Head to shapmoto.com. These F5 choroid helmets are gonna be up in a whole bunch of different colorways. If you're local, stop by Chaparral and try one on for yourself. They truly are amazing. Archie, thanks for helping. I'm Travis, we'll see you guys next time.